What's poppin', baby? It's your boy, my hot little Norway smoking that choker, but continuously token tuning back in for the little them bangers by my boy Church. And uh, this is just one of his little comedy situations, I'm assuming. A bunch of people was telling me I should check it out. Uh, it's called Sup Fellers. And, bruh, I, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna hit this full screen, but I'm not sure how I feel about his, like, porn star mustache he's got going on right there. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. Give him a white van with no windows and he uh, he looks like he might try to kidnap your ass or something. You know what I'm saying? That mustache is, 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 is something else, bro. It's just got a, got a personality all on its own. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. <laughs> but let's do this, man. We got church with sub fellas and... Uh, Let's go. Do what you do to go up, man. And let's have fun. A mustache now. I, uh, I finally growed one. It's a baby one, but I still growed one, okay? <laughs> I've been trying to do that for like fucking infinity years now. Granted, it's like a 19 year old mustache, but <laughs> whatever. It's I'm glad that he's talking about his mustache because, uh, bruh, when I saw it and I've seen some of the pictures on Instagram, I was like, what is going on with this so like porn star kidnap you and you know what I'm saying? It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm just saying, bro. I'm just saying. Still even now. It used to not be. Yeah, it used to not. <laughs> and it and it used to not even be there at all. Uh, it just came in like last week. So <laughs> I've missed you guys a whole lot. Give me a hug, or I'll kill you. Just kidding. No, I'll never do that. Oh jeez, up church is a large. <laughs> oh no, he's getting fat. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. <laughs> well, I have been I off YouTube. Right to say. Well, I, to I ain't been that. off YouTube. I've been, I've been posting my songs. You've been busy. Still, but I ain't. You've been busy. Made a video, video in like probably a month, probably a month and a half. Yeah. Dude, I'm just. Oh my god, dude. I fucking. I did like a reset. You know what I mean? Bro, I noticed so much shit that I needed to notice, bro. And like, it wasn't one of them things where. I, I was like forgetting who I am or anything like that. It was more like forgetting to do things for myself and then also thinking that you guys expected more from me than what I was already doing, if that makes sense. Which I'm not, I'm not saying y'all did anything. I'm talking about like, that was my personal issue. Like I thought that I wasn't You're doing so working yourself. enough for y'all. Because I mean, let's be real. I mean, I'm not on the radio for y'all, you know, because I, I, I fucking can't be because I don't I don't I won't play the whole record label game. But, you know, it was that and a few other things. And I just I don't know, man. I've been talking to people like in my DMs and shit and, you know, telling supporters my actual personal problems. And I was asking my That's supporters lit. shit because I wanted to know, you know what I mean? I wanted to know, like, dude, am I starting to be, like, a douchebag? And it's not because <laughs> I do, like, douchebag nah. fucking things. I mean, it's just... Me and Church me and Church have had a couple conversations, and I've told him, like, he, like, it's not that he's being douchey or anything. Like, he just has to maneuver differently. You know what I'm saying? Like, the reality is, is he's not just a regular human being. Like, he is just a human being, by all means. But the status that he kind of holds... You know what I'm saying? And, and you know, there's there's a celebrity status to him, bro. Like, he has to move a little bit differently, think a little bit differently, because the reality is when you get a certain level of notoriety, you know, safety becomes a major concern. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, we all think about our safety on our day-to-day -day life, you know what I'm saying? Driving, getting going out into the world. But when you have notoriety and people are hating on you, like, you know, it's a little bit more severe, so now nah, I just feel like he just had to he just had to figure out he's he's learning how to be a celebrity, bro. Like I feel like he's finally accepting the fact that he is, you know, low key famous. Um, you know what I'm saying? There's still definitely probably places he can go and not be, you know, bombarded and stuff in, in other states or other countries. But for the most part, like anywhere that he's gonna frequent or anywhere that he enjoys to go, like he's gonna be recognized, and that's something that he's had to come to terms with with this newfound, you know, fame, this notoriety that he's gaining over this last four years. You know what I'm saying? This is all, you have to grow with the fame as well. You know, you have to learn to how to navigate the, the murky, sharky water. You know what I'm the saying? Let's go. A lot of these artists or entertainers in general, 
you know, I feel like they start being somebody else and not even know it. You know what I mean? I feel like if you let yourself yeah. be some people will start to live Facebook and Instagram, the, the image, and all these things for so long, like they become I feel the like image some of these artists start of them, to change and the image they don't being just a part of them. And some of them care That's about real. them changing and being, you know, douchebaggy and shit. Some of them don't give a fuck. Uh, I give a fuck very much because I don't ever want to start turning into that, which I don't think I will. But I don't know, man. It was just like some personal fucking reassurance I needed. You know what I mean? And I mean, look, the only reason I even thought about that is because between me and you guys, I'm in a fucking weird situation anyways. You know what I mean? I mean, mm -hmm. usually it's either... I'd agree. Uh, you're a popular country singer, rapper, whatever, and you have a lot of other country singing, popular rapper friends or whatever. And, like, it seems like that's the circle you fit in when you're in that position because, you know, you have uh, people you went to school with and hometown people uh, just really not wanting to fuck with you or keep it real with you or just, like, wanting shit from you. But... That's not the case with me. My case is, it's like half backwards. So like, I can release an album, and thanks to you guys, you know, it does go to number one, and it fluctuates and stays in the top 20 for, you know, sometimes weeks, sometimes months. Uh, fuck, dude, I still got albums from four years ago that were still on the charts up until like three months ago. So the reality That's crazy. of you <laughs> That's guys lit. giving me that amazing opportunity to be that person, since I'm an independent artist and I'm being able to be beside names on the charts that are just humongous, right? and me being so fuck the record labels, fuck y'all record labels, it makes their artist Look at me kind of weird. Rightfully so. I get you, motherfucker. Yeah. I get you. Because you did but it also, without the help, without the handouts. You know what I'm having saying? Having such great success that you guys have let me have, it's made people... Uh, you want to know the key word right there that's super dope? The success that y'all have let me have. Like, he, like, is so humble and understands that he would not be in this situation if it wasn't for every one of his fans and, and one of his supporters, bro. Like, that shit is, that's one of the, my favorite parts about him. You just gotta listen to the terminology sometimes. How do I say this? It's made people... Fuck. It's made people... That are just like me and you. Here, take a hit, bro. Take take a hit, bro. Take a hit. Look you need a hit, bro. Just take a hit, real quick. And then different. gather your thoughts. But not different, as in a good different. Not like, hey, that's a that's up church, man. That's that's fucking old singing ass, rapping ass up church. Like that's normal, man. I mean, I love that. It's made people like me and you, not like me, and they don't even fucking know me, dude. Like, they don't like me because of my status. Which I can understand. Comes why. with it though, bro. It because comes with it, it though, bro. It makes us all look like rogue pieces of shit. Facts. Crazy motherfuckers. Gun toting fucking weed smoking. Crazy fucks. <laughs> and dude, crazy not fucks. all of us are like that. Do I have a lot of guns? Yeah. Do I vote Do for I smoke Trump? a lot of weed? Yeah. yeah. Do I, go fuck about I didn't vote for Trump though. Not really. I don't give a shit about politics. Fucking hate politics. Now, Fuck both sides. I'm just saying. I mean, Fuck both sides. But look, look, look at, look at what people like I'm me in the middle. and you are portrayed to be. Look what people like them are portrayed to be. So what do you do? You know what I mean? The fuck? Do, you can't do shit. But here's the thing. Here's what I'm getting at. None of that fucking matters. At all. It don't. <laughs> I was waiting for him to get to like the point of like, what are you, where are you going and with this church? That, that shit, none of that shit matters. You know, you know what I'm saying? Where are you going with this? The internet being so one-sided right now and making this group look good for this moment 
and then making this one look like shit, and then reversing those roles, and then grabbing this other one and being like, oh, what about this group? This group is a piece of asshole too. Get them. You. <laughs> you don't take that shit. You. Bunch of motherfuckers walking around with that I eat ass face. You know what I'm saying? That's what he's basically saying. A bunch of motherfuckers walking around with that I eat ass face. You know what I'm he saying? He called you a bitch. That's what's going on right now. <laughs> bunch of instigating ass eaters, bro. Bunch of instigating ass eaters. <laughs> Comedians can't even make jokes. <laughs> yes, they can. Racist they should jokes just are made, funny. made that point. Yep. Religion jokes are funny. I'm just saying, just because Dave Chappelle got the slack and people were hating on some of the jokes and blah, 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 like overall though, like that that went over very well. I mean, it just really pointed out the fact that there's just a lot of pussies. Yes, a lot of pussy cats in this world. You know what I'm saying? You got a lot of puss cat emotions. You know what I'm saying? I'm just, I'm just saying. Did everyone forget <laughs> what a joke was? When have yeah. you ever heard me call someone the N word, bro? Like N-I-G-G-E-R. Never. But you're still my nigga though. But that's not you know what, what it looks like. I'm just saying, nigga. You could you, you my nigga. I'm your nigga. We niggas, you know what I'm saying? It's cool, church. You a nigga. <laughs> you my nigga. That's the thing. It's absolutely <laughs> nigga though. Nigga, 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 nigga. You might need to cut this mustache though, bro. <laughs> the mustache is it's a little creepy, dog. It's a little creepy. <laughs> I'm just saying, don't don't go buy a van anytime soon, all right? And if you do, make sure the motherfuckers got windows. Don't tint it. Don't tint the windows, all right? Don't tint the windows, okay? And 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 stay away from parks if you if you do buy that van with windows. That's not tinted. Just stay away from parks just all together. You know, recreational centers, all that. You know what I'm saying? Because <laughs> your mustache, bro, a little suspect. Just the stash, though. Like they're gonna be like, oh, that's church, but what is on his what is that on his face? <laughs> it's a little suspect, you know what I'm saying? It looked like a cop, like one of them cops from, uh, oh, bro, the cop from, uh, oh, man, what is the movie? Now it's going to piss me off. Super Trooper, dog. You need you. That should be his costume for fucking Halloween. He should be a Super Trooper. Oh, my fucking God. Fucking crazy, bro. <laughs> They're my using nigga, <laughs> the internet and all these outlets <sighs> to program your fucking brain. Yeah. Yeah. Really? To program That's why your advertisement is the biggest bro. thing in the world, you know? I mean, I'm not crazy. I I do regular shit. I wake up every day, I got a bunch of errands to run and shit. I mean I don't know, dude. I, I'm not some dude. A mustache to cut somewhere off somewhere going nuts. You know what I'm saying? I need to cut that I stash, mean, dog. How can you even make a video? And stay on topic. We, we've been bouncing all over topics the whole video. And that's another thing I think they do on purpose. If there's a bunch of bullshit going on, it fucking makes you look over here instead of over here. Whatever the fuck's going on over here. Why are videos going viral of these people who are getting Doing sex dumpings. changes and then being like, hello, I'm someone who has a sex change. You have to accept me and do, and you have to. It's because, that, that though is because some of the uh, LGBTQ, elemental P, no disrespect, I just don't, I, I don't remember all the letters. <laughs> um, but they sued, there was a bunch of YouTubers that were a part of that community and they sued um, YouTube, or at least, you know, brought a, a bunch of nonsense to the door of YouTube and they had to you know they had to fix some shit you know what i'm saying <laughs> like that and that i think that's really why like some of those videos are going viral is because of all the uproar and the outcry that that community did because they felt like they were being scuffed and you know shut out because of their personal you know situations and choices and whatnot so yeah just saying. Believe in what I You're still my nigga though. <laughs> and you have to stand up for my right to shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, okay, yeah. There he is. Yeah, he's talked about Ain't it. Ain't nobody gotta do shit for you, motherfucker. Basically, yeah. That's all they did. They they uproared, they cried out. Which is, you know, that's shit, another whatever. problem. Another issue off of the other issues we're talking about now. Nobody has to fucking 
support anything anyone does. Fact. You guys don't even have real to support life. me if you don't want. That's real life. So, why are all these fucking weird things popping up that we're supposed to accept? And if we don't, then fuck us. What? No, 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 no. If I think you're doing some weird shit, I'm gonna be like, hey, you're a fucking weirdo. To me, you're a fucking weirdo. Weirdo. I'm one person. Well, that's person. a personal opinion. And I don't, yeah, exactly. I was just about to say that. That's one person's opinion. And I don't think that like, people get too upset about, no, I don't want to do that right now. You can do that. Remind me later. Um, but that's one person's opinion. And I think that's what people get too caught up on. Is like they get too hung up on one person's opinion. Like, oh my God, that, what about that one person just devastated my whole life. <laughs> my whole life is going to be over because he doesn't accept me. Oh my God, there's over, like, there's over. There's over like three billion people on the world and the planet, and then I just I have to have every one of them like me. <laughs> oh my god. No. That is unrealistic and it is stupid and it's unnecessary stress and depression that you have just given to yourself for no goddamn reason. I'm just saying. Stop being a pussy cat. <laughs> Who the fuck cares? <laughs> and that's what I'm getting at. Right. That that Who ties cares? into the other shit we were talking about. The internet tricks you into giving a fuck about the wrong things. Not only the wrong things, too many of the wrong things. Fuck them. Literally, fuck them. All this bullshit, all this fucking drama, all this, all this fuck shit. Em. Where fuck do we em. all see it? Fuck them. The cell phone. Do you remember when Vine was badass and funny and interesting and like people were outside yep. making these videos and... They were genuinely cool to watch and shit. And then all of a sudden the internet went, went to the fucking dark days. And if you, if you have a fucking Confederate flag or American flag or a fucking Jamaican fucking flag or whatever kind of flag, somebody's got something to say about it. Somebody already knows you. They already know you so fucking well because of the background in your goddamn video. They already know you so goddamn well That's by your enough. flannel shirt or your Michael Jordan shirt <laughs> or your Carhartt hat or your <laughs> Nike hat. <laughs> that sounds fucking dumb. So somewhere along the line. That does. The very things I just talked about. How come no one's making funny skits out of this shit? That'd be funny, right? No. Yeah. Because it would get fucking blocked. Oh, you're hating. Dude, it's a joke. Black guy, white that is guy real, video. Oh, oh, white guy in the hood. Oh, so funny. Black guy in the country. Oh, so funny. Yeah, it is funny. But it's black guys and white guys making these fucking videos. That's real. So why is... Why did the comedy... <laughs> of these fucking stupid situations get kicked out. That's if you make a funny That's video a about question. this shit, like, oh, you I, wake I it up. Not that, you, that, 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 for you Besides, we live in a you know generation of pussycat emotions. I thought Dave Chappelle's fucking Ku Klux Klan. Great. It was fantastic. Was. <laughs> Bro, that was hilarious. A His black whole skit, the whole dude, comedy show was being great. a fucking that whole grand dragon of the Ku Klux Klan, and nobody right. knowing because he always wore a hood and yep. talked white as fuck, dude. That's hilarious, bro. How can you say that's not? Hell, even some people that laughed at that shit back in the day are the same motherfuckers that would now be like, "That's right, that." So, you take all that shit that I just said in this entire video. And you have it in this big bag, right? You dump this motherfucking bag out. You got fake news. You got fake celebrities. You got fake stories. Fake ass songs. Fake personalities. <laughs> so, when you're a real motherfucker, and you really are grounded with who you are, and who you're surrounded by, Hold on, can we just make a note though?
Can we just make a note about the tapestry in the back? Like I've been staring at this this whole video, and I I I, I just made the final determination that this is a tapestry. I'm I'm a little high. Okay, it took me a minute. <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. But that's lit. <laughs> I'm just saying. If you wanna, you know, make it look like you read a lot of motherfucking books, that's one way to do it. Just put up a tapestry that's <laughs> a whole fucking bookshelf, a couple bookshelves and shit. I read, motherfucker. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's a good way to get some pussy. You know what I'm saying? That's a good way to get some pussy. Chicks like dudes that read. I'm just saying. Who's <laughs> supporting your stuff? I like that shit. But cut that Is mustache off, though, man? bruh. They don't want to see your shit. For shed. real. Yep, that's real. That's fucking weird. It's almost like it's designed to drive you insane. Yeah. You ever notice there are so many celebrities that, oh, this celebrity's going fucking crazy, oh, this celebrity's on fucking drugs, oh, this celebrity's fucking killing himself, oh, this celebrity did this, or this celebrity did that. <laughs> you know why? <laughs> Because they give a fuck too much. Yep. They give a fuck too much. And that's what this entire <laughs> video is about. What would, you, what would you just look at? What caught his, I wonder what caught his attention. Watch. You know why? Because they give a fuck too much. Watch. He, he like looks off into the space much. or something. Look, look. <laughs> I wonder what kind of intentions I really do. And that's what this entire video is about. He's like, Simply. titties, squirrel. <laughs> and that's why I wanted to make this video. To let everybody that supports me know. You ain't got to worry about nothing, bro. I ain't never going to do this shit. Bro, they can keep shadow banning me. I don't give a fuck. It ain't going to make me sign no contract. It ain't gonna make me stress no more. It ain't gonna make me worry about whatever in a fuck any fucking body says. <laughs> it's honestly done some good for me, the internet being like this. It's made me proud as fuck to not wanna be in those groups. To not wanna be accepted by them. Or anybody that's around them, fuck it. Right. Let them delete me off the fucking internet. Fuck them. Who cares? <laughs> I don't Stay know. True they yourself. That's what that said. That's what that means. About it last night. I was watching, and uh, I haven't really looked into it that much, but it has something to do with monetization. But that's the thing. Why? Why are they killing the YouTube content creators? Why are they trying to for advertisement? Out the content creators. I've said it before. They're looking for Disney this is what Channel YouTube's creators, about. bro. Mm -mm, not no more. And that's another thing. I, I got so caught up in wanting to look so professional because look who we're competing with now. Corporate fucking YouTube. Yep. Why does it look <laughs> like the news in the morning now, dude? Fuck that. I'm going back to my old ways, dude. Carrying my phone with me and just fucking filming wherever the fuck I feel like filming. Filming my fucking boat. Fucking shaky ass camera. Who gives a fuck? That's what people want to <laughs> see. They want to see real life shit. Real life people. That's so real. So why in the fuck are we showing everyone now or... Not Why do you we think I have that. in the garage? Like, I'm in a group. coat because I'm cold. Whoever their group is. <laughs> in the garage because I was smoking. Whoever the fuck is running YouTube like this? I don't know. It's garage. Anyways, you guys, I, I know this video has been all over the place. But I can guarantee every single one of y'all know what I'm talking about. I know yeah. you guys do. I know you do. <laughs> I know you're probably seeing it within your own shit. A lot of y'all are probably yes. getting blocked from... You know, and I'm not trying to talk about my shit, but a lot of y'all probably been blocked from seeing shit you like to see. Yeah. I know stuff don't pop up. I don't get notified. I know my own personal stuff don't get out to people like it should. You know, YouTube has definitely changed. It's a whole different animal at this Remember point. Remember who you are, dude. 
Don't let nothing fuck that up for you. Facts. Always know who you are. And if you feel like you're maybe not yourself, call up some friends, bro. Ask them. Fuck it. Who cares? Your friends ain't gonna lie to you if they're your real friends. That's True what that. Human interaction is for, man. And you know what? If they end up fucking taking me off the internet, I don't, I'm, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I ain't trying to freak nobody out. But a lot of motherfuckers been getting banned lately. I mean, mug Instagram. That's real. I mean, it's fucking locked the fuck up. Don't know what the fuck's wrong with it. Instagram won't hit me back. Who fucking knows? Dang. But if something happens and oh, yeah, they do the old one, my yeah, channel. I remember, yeah, I know the whole thing here. Yeah, the old channel. Ryan up church. They ain't gonna take that. Real life. <laughs> and also, I want to thank you guys for not minding the fact that I haven't made a video in a month. Because I wanted to sit back and reflect on who I am. Simple as that. I appreciate it. Yeah. The internet's a fucking weird place now. The world's starting <laughs> to be a weird place now, kinda. Yeah. I mean, then again, it's not though. It's just what's portrayed <laughs> on the fucking screen. You see what I'm saying? Mm. <laughs> just thanks for being there for me. And thanks for hearing me yeah. out. I don't feel like I have to be a certain someone for y'all anymore. I feel like y'all have pretty much seen all of my personal self. And it feels good. It feels good to have people that accept me for yeah. what I am. The, real, I the, the reality is, is you're not gonna like- Oh shit, bro. Not everybody in the world is gonna like you, appreciate you, care to know you, <laughs> care to appreciate you. <laughs> And that's just the reality, man. Uh, I've been yeah. smoking the whole time. I've just been cutting those parts Stay out. Stay high, man. <laughs> but anyway, Skins, thank y'all for everything y'all do for me, bro. <laughs> Sis. Skin. Skin at. Y'all have done a lot for me. Y'all give me a lot of shit to look forward to. Facts. I appreciate y'all, too. Who I like. Look at all the fucking albums, dude. God dang it. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of them on my wall. I still gotta get the rest. That's, I don't know That's crazy. Now, Working. Like Working. And just to think, dude, I've, I've been out since 2014. And the way that we interact with each other. Created all of it. It's <laughs> and it built it up to what it's it crazy. Is. Bro, that's yep. fucking crazy. Lit. <laughs> that's fucking crazy. Crazy, Skins. crazy. I'm fucking stoned as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I can tell because you ain't got nothing to say, and I'm I'm on that same level. So, but yeah, that was lit. I, I, you know, I appreciate when church just, you know, opens up and lets us know what's going on in his mind and his world and whatnot, you know what I'm saying? Because he doesn't have to do that stuff and, you know, the fact that he does, you know, just dope. So, uh, yeah, y'all let me know what y'all about what he had to say. And, uh, yeah, I love y'all. There is no me without you. Always remember to live life high. Honest, intelligent, genuine, humble, except for me. Like, God damn it, I'm sexy and ask you to live that way. Peace.